我跟阿瑞发布了一些问题。In the future,、嗯、if we want to choose to send our baby to Chinese school or American school. Hello, 大家好，今天天气特别好，宝宝的状态也很不错。最近有很多朋友来探望我们。今天有一个朋友要带他三个儿子来看我们，顺便跟他学习一下带娃的经验。现在爸爸在教他们去抱一下宝宝。Oh, cute. Yeah. Is that a little brother? 感觉带三个孩子很不容易，就是三个男孩子。哎，阿瑞，他的朋友给他分享了很多经验。哎 ，Here you go. Good job. Ah.、Uh. Take it, take it. <laughs> 小豆腐，你好。He's doing some tummy time. Oh, he's looking a little more tired. I might put him down to sleep. A tummy time. He's done with his he's tummy、done. time. Now we're gonna put him down in his little nap place we set up in his room. Okay, time to put him down. 白噪音，这样的话宝宝睡觉会比较安静一点。大家好，小豆腐 is three weeks old as of today, and we thought it'd be fun to do a little new parent Q and A. So we're gonna answer some of your most asked questions about being new parents.、Uh, right now, Jay made so much, so we're gonna enjoy that and get to talking. Baba, you do what? I do this Dongguo Dun Rou Wan Tang, and also this Thai Goat Dun Dou Jiao. Ooh. We have some friends give us gong dou,、oh. and、uh, dong gua, and also some Chinese dou jiao.、Yeah. These are huge. It's kind of like a Chinese bean, so、oh. it's made of that. And then what is what is this? That's a、uh, meatball. Oh, you made this meatball?、Mm -hmm. Wow, that's so cool. Start eat lunch. Chop up. So these are Chinese beans. Soft. Do you like it? They're good, actually. I hated beans growing up, but we would usually just eat canned green beans, and so they were awful. But these are really good. Hmm. Oh, this may be my favorite soup you've made since the baby's been born. Really? Really good. I think because I, I like the meat flavor in the broth. Yep. Hmm. Makes it really fresh. Let me try this meat. This meat kind of looks like it'll taste like the inside of a jalza. Is that kind of what it's like? Mmm. 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 Within every three hours, he wants to eat. 一个东北的阿姨给了我一些豆角，这个豆角已经炖得非常的软了，非常的香。嗯，超级喜欢吃这道菜。哇，这排骨也已经，哦，骨肉分离了。<笑> These are the best meatballs I've ever had. They're just flavored so well, and I love them with the rice. I probably love it as much as Xiao Doufu loves my milk. <laughs> he wants to eat all the time. In fact, I think he wants to eat more right now, so I'm trying to quick finish eating. <laughs> He's like, "What is Baba doing?" <laughs> so we're gonna just do a very casual Q and A here. I have some questions saved that you guys had asked. In this time, I will answer some of the questions in Chinese. Okay, so one of the questions says, first of all, congrats to you guys being parents. May I know what are the most challenging experiences after having little Jay Jr. during this past few weeks? The most challenging part, definitely, middle night time. Yeah, the middle of the night. I、yeah. agree. <laughs> Because the baby couldn't go to sleep、mm -hmm. in the middle of the night, so I was so sleepy, but I still needed to take care of him when you were tired. Yeah. So basically. Um, 
Xiaodo Fu, he sleeps for about two hours and then he needs to eat again. Yeah. So that makes the night really long. Um, and then when I'm just too exhausted, Jay will take a turn to take care of him. Yeah. But then Jay actually got really bad tension headaches. So my back had this side. I think it's because of anxiety and also lack of sleep. Yeah, next one. How long do you want to breastfeed? Greetings from Bavaria, Germany. That's so cool, she's in Germany. I'm hoping to breastfeed for at least a year. We'll see how that goes, but at least a year, if not longer. My mom breastfed her babies a really long time. My yeah. little sister was breastfed till she was like three or something. Really? <laughs> yeah, like really wow. long, but not exclusively. You add food later. I think the happiest time was one of the times the past few days when I was just holding him in a really sweet position and we were just snuggling, like just holding him so close to my body and he was so cozy and I just felt so happy to have him in my arms and he, the babies smell amazing too, new babies, they just smell so good. So that was just one of my happiest, just a quiet time with him. What about you? For me, that um, when I went to outside on the way, I will think about him. That's the most happiest time for me, mm -hmm. that I know I have a son, I have a baby at home. Oh. And he's waiting for me. Oh, that's really sweet. <laughs> Are you entertaining him? <laughs> Are you entertained? <laughs> you look so bored still. <laughs> now what about the saddest time? Is when he's crying. I think for me, um, so I just worry about him staying healthy sometimes and I just try not to, but those are my saddest times when I let my mind think about what if something were to happen to him. Because I already was realizing how much I love him if anything were to happen to him, that would be probably the hardest thing in my whole world. Okay, the next one, we got some audience and fans from Malaysia. Oh, cool. Are you guys planning to speak more Chinese or English to him in the future? So we're definitely wanting him to be bilingual. Elephant. Lion. Lion. Uh, I'm not too worried about his English learning <laughs> since right now we're here in America and my whole family speaks English to him. That's right. So I'm more concerned about that we give him enough Chinese exposure. That's really important to me that he can speak Chinese well. And that's why I also want to take my second Chinese course. Yes. <laughs> Another one is ask in the future mm. if you want to choose to send our baby to Chinese school or American school. Well, we're playing to homeschool. Yes. We probably won't send our baby to school. Yeah, I loved my homeschooling experience. I felt very well prepared for college. I was able to get enough scholarship into college to graduate debt free. So I just feel like that's personally what I really want to have for him. Yeah. So my sister will also be homeschooling, so I feel like that will really help. Once you have good curriculum, it really leads you through it. I'm able enough to study it myself first to be able to understand how to explain it well to him. Yeah. And so it's okay if you have to relearn some things before you teach it to your kids. That's true. Yeah. yeah. Okay, 关于这个 homeschool tutorials, has little Tofu have a name yet? He's so adorable, too cute. Thank you so much. Um, so Xiaodofu is the nickname we want to use for him here on our channel. Um, I hope you guys can understand that we have decided not to show his real name out here to the world just for internet safety. We also think Xiaodofu is really cute of a nickname. So um, we hope you guys can understand that 
we want him to have a little more privacy out here. And so, yes. Yeah. All right, next question is, when will you all go to China to visit your mother with your new babies? We're going as soon as we're able to, basically. Yeah, we are waiting for the baby until at least six months. We just think we want him to be old and stable for when he does such a huge international travel. It's a really long flight. It's yeah. like, it could be what, 30 hour flight? Sometimes, total, total, total yeah. But yeah. yeah. well, we are so excited to go back to China to see my mom. Yeah. <laughs> Aww. Right now we sent her a lot of videos and photos of him yeah. and she's been very understanding and just excited to meet him when we're able to go back. Yes. So. Are you guys preparing for a second one and when if you do so? <laughs> <laughs> the answer is yes. <laughs> So we definitely want to have, I'm hoping for at least three kids. Yes, I agree. Yeah, I would like there to be a little more time in between. Maybe the next one after about two years or so. Yes, Mark so. is about three years old. This next question, I guess, is for me. It says, do you plan to be a stay-at-home mom? And um, yeah, that's basically already what I'm doing with him. And I get to spend a lot of time taking care of Shaldofu. And that's always been my dream ever since I was young was to have multiple kids and get to homeschool them and invest my time into the raising and the education of my children. So that's always been my dream as far as an occupation, I guess, is to be an at-home mom. Ari has the ability to have her own career. She's very smart. <laughs> Thank you. And, but and she has a big dream for raising our kids. Mm -hmm. And I respect that. I need to work hard to support my family. I think when you have one parent that's a stay-at-home parent to be with the kids, it's both parents making that work together. It takes both of you being on board mm -hmm. to be like, okay, we're gonna go off of one income here and we're gonna make whatever sacrifices yes. we need to to make that one income work for our family. Yes. Um, but also by the time you have three kids, at least in America, um, childcare is so expensive. Sometimes the money you have to pay for someone to take care of your kid instead of yourself even cancels out how much you could earn at your job a little bit. So, That's true. Yes, we have to do very tight budget in the future. Mm -hmm. When I was young, I pretty much grew up with my grandparents. So I didn't think that's a good uh, education experience for me. I realized that parents are very important for their kids. Mm -hmm. So if mom and dad can spend a lot of time with their kids, that would be the best for the baby. Besides of work, I also wanted to spend more time with my baby. As a parent, to take care of a baby by yourself is the best thing for them. Your grandparents can still help out, but it just means the predominant hours of who is your baby fed by, who does your baby yeah. learn from, is coming from what you as the parents want to give to your kids. It's yes. going to be hard work, yeah. and it does take sacrifice. That could be financial or just your time. You can't do as many fun things. It's getting used to a lifestyle where your priority is your marriage, and then after that, your next priority is your kids. Yes, then your parents. Yeah, and then the rest of your family. That's just us. Yeah, this is what we're planning to do. These are our ideals that we have for our family. Yes. Yeah. All right, well, I think that about wraps it up. Yep. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for sending all the love to Xiao Dofu. Oh, it's so cute. So cute. He can sleep here for like two or three hours. He loves he, being held. Yes. My mom told me, hey, don't hold him too much. I was like, he's so young. I mean, yeah, he's only he 20 wants, days. He wants to feel safe in your arms. He's yes. so new to this world. I've heard the expression, you can't spoil a baby. Like, babies need to feel loved and yes. secure. We'll see you next time for our next video. Zai Bye-bye. Zai Bye. 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 Bye.